Good morning. We're on lesson 99, adding and subtracting decimals. This is so easy. The whole lesson is line up your decimals when you're adding and subtracting. That's it. We're going to do a little bit more, but that's really it. When you're multiplying, you do not need to line up your decimals. So you got to keep that in mind. But let's say that we wanted to add 6.2 or 6 and 2 tenths plus 4.25 or 4 and 25 hundredths plus 3. Okay, so I just said it's really important to line up your decimals. I'll let him look that way. Um, so I know I've got three numbers. I'm going to put three decimals. What is the number that has the most decimal places behind it? Right here, there are two. So each of these numbers is going to have two decimal places behind it, right? So let's start here, 6.2. What about there? Can I fill it in with a zero? Sure. 4.25, that's easy. And three, uh-oh, I don't have any decimals in three. That's okay. That's the same thing. It just shows we measured more accurately. So whenever I have a blank spot, I can fill it in with a zero, right? Okay. I'm going to add them up, pretend like it's not there. I might as well bring it down now because I know I'm going to do that in the end. So I'm all set. I can pretend like I have no decimals. 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 2 is 4. 10, 13, and I'm done. 13 and 45 hundredths. That's it. Put your decimals in ahead of time. Look at how, how um, many places... Your number with the most decimal places has, that didn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying. The one with the most decimal numbers behind it, behind the decimal. Still not saying it right. You know what I'm saying. Maybe y'all can figure out how to say it better and email me. Anyway, that's the key to life when adding up numbers that have decimals. You can do the same thing with subtracting. So, again, I've got one of these numbers that doesn't have a decimal. It's okay. Now, when I'm subtracting, I can't change the order of things, can I? So, I'm going to have two decimal places for everything. So, I'm going to say two numbers oops, with two decimal places and let me say seven and fill in the zeros and three and 25 hundredths and I'm subtracting. So now I just pretend like that decimal isn't there. Go ahead and bring it down. And now I pretend like, so I'm going to borrow one from that. 5, 10 minus 5 is 5. Uh, I'm going to have to borrow that turned into a 9. So that, I borrow again. 7, 3. Okay. So I'm done. Already put my decimal in there, right? Okay, that's easy. Okay, so that's subtracting. Multiplying. Um, the trick when you're multiplying decimals, and this isn't in this lesson, but because they go together, I want to go ahead and teach it to you. Um, pick the number that has the most digits and put it on top. doesn't matter whether it's smaller or larger. This one has three digits. I'm going to go ahead and put that on top and 6.2 on the bottom because it only has two digits and then I can multiply. Okay, I didn't line them up because I don't need to for multiplication. Okay, um, so 10, 5, 2, place holding 0, it's 30. Sums 2 is 12, 15, carry the 1, 7, add 0, 5, 7, 7. Um, I have 1, 2, 3 decimal places in my problem, so I'm going to have 1, 2, 3 in my answer. And that's multiplying with decimals. So the main thing I wanted you to take from that is when you're multiplying, you don't have to line them up. When you are adding and subtracting, you do have to line them up. It is so important. Make sure that all of your numbers that you're adding have the same number of decimal places, even if you have to add zeros. That's it.
Good luck, you guys.